What's up, YouTube? Uh, all right. Um, this is one of my first ever, you know, tech tutorials. I don't really make too many YouTube videos, but I, I had to share this with you guys because I just it's it's something that's happened. It's been it's a mistake, and I think it could be valuable for you. Um, so here goes. I had uh, this time capsule from like 2009, 2010. We bought it. Um, but over time, it, it stopped responding, okay? And, and and we weren't able to get the functionality out of it. A um, couple of years later, we found it again. Um, and we knew that there was still data on this that was valuable to us. And, and, and we know how important our data is to us, especially old stuff. Because, you know, the cloud wasn't so big, you know, in 2010. So a lot of the data is still on physical. Um, anyway, gave it to somebody. He had this drive for maybe, I don't know, two years trying to extract the data. He he did take it apart. He, <laughs> he um, you know, it, it, it came back in bits and pieces. Um, and so I thought, okay, look, there's definitely an issue with maybe the motherboard or some, you know, internal sort of circuitry here. I should just get another um, hard drive enclosure connected and I should be good to go. So I ordered myself a hard drive enclosure. Um, I ordered this one and uh, one thing to I should mention that I also had this Western digital drive that was also an issue and it was have giving me data, um, giving us problems and I had to recover this data as well. So I thought, okay, maybe uh, for this one, maybe it's the same issue. It's, um, it's some, you know, circuit board issue. Let me put it in an enclosure and try and extract it. Uh, keep in mind, this is a powered drive. Um, these these were powered drives, and I didn't have the adapter for this. So, uh, you know, chances were slim of trying to power this on. Anyway, um, moving along, uh, I put the time capsule drive in this. It was a Western Digital Green, um, I think Barracuda. Uh, I would plug it into my Mac. Uh, the lights would come on, a blue and orange one, but no no blinking, no activity. So it's just sort of, you know, plugged in. Even there was no spinning happening either. I tried it in Windows. Um, the drive was visible, but it didn't have any directory. It was just a, a grayed out drive. So um, I was getting worried. I was like, okay, that was my last option. Maybe I'll just save this drive. And, and you know, in the future, if I find someone who's really good at data recovery, I'll, I'll have them check it out. So I put that aside and I started to open this guy. I opened this guy and I just wanted to, you know, get some assistance on how to take, um, you know, this drive and, and put it in an enclosure. So I Googled, um, I YouTubed a video and uh, somebody was saying that there's a controller that comes on these WD drives. And that controller has a security feature where you cannot use the internal drive um, on anything else other than a WD controller because it's a security sort of um, feature. So I was starting to feel like I was more and more shit out of luck. I said, you know what? Let me just try this. Let me put the controller on the time capsule drive. Let me take the power from this one. Um, this was, you know, really, really cheap. So I wasn't too worried about if that power, you know, blew something out. And I, I, I connected it and <laughs> the drive came back to life. Um, these blue lights started flickering and, and the next thing I know, um, you know, I'm on my, I'm on my desktop and, and, and the drive shows up. Um, now without, you know, talking too much about my data, um, there are some folders that were giving me an issue. Um, for example, this one. Uh, so if you have an issue that, um, you know, where you can't access the folder and you get an error message, just click get info. Uh, once you get info, change the privileges. It'll probably be at, at read or, or, or write only. Make them read and write. It didn't give me an issue while changing that. And then I just kind of opened that and all my, all my, all my data came up. So yeah, BlackBerry backup, the days of, of, of BlackBerry. Um, so this is how I got my stuff back. Um, I really, really didn't think this power would work. Um, somehow managed to find a USB 2.0 cable and it worked. So if this is gonna help you, um, you know, I 
I really hope it does. I hope you can, you know, salvage some of your data. I know Apple sold a lot of these and maybe there's a lot of other people in, in, in the same boat as me. And if you are, I hope you get your data back because I know how important stuff is. So this is my video and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.